Hey, what's going on everybody? Check it out. We're back at it again, talking about learning the fretboard. This is an exercise for beginners. This can be for intermediate or advanced players. Well, if you're advanced, I would hope you would know, but learning the fretboard just a little bit better, learning the notes of the fretboard so you can be comfortable in any register. Here we go. So the concept of this exercise is actually pretty simple. I recommend that you do this in the beginning of your playing so it won't be so difficult to actually transition into the different parts of the fretboard. So just learning one of the notes, playing one note everywhere on the fretboard. Let's say for instance, the F on the A string, on the D string, on the G string. Okay, so every single string you've covered that one note. Okay, so we're gonna use this just for now, this area of the bass just for now. So we're gonna start with F, I'm gonna, actually you can start with E, but I wanna start with F for this exercise. So F, 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 okay? So that's what we have to work with. So F on the first fret, the next F on the A string is gonna be on the eighth fret, third fret, F, D string, 10th fret, F on the G string. Okay, that's tough to say. So what you're gonna do is do this with a metronome so you can keep track of how you're doing in your progress. So I just have a metronome here, 65 BPM, three, four quarter notes. One, two, three, four. So one important thing that I wanted to mention to you guys is that you wanna make sure you're alternating your fingers on your picking hand, your right hand, or if you're left-handed, your left hand. You get the idea. So alternating your fingers when you're using this exercise. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That way you're killing two birds with one stone, utilizing your picking hand or plucking hand and alternating your fingers, getting used to that one, two, one, two motion while learning the fretboard at the same time. So now what you wanna do is you wanna go up the fretboard. You want to go chromatically just to make sure you know every single note. For something like this, I usually would use whole steps, but I wanna make sure you know you guys know the half steps and the accidentals too, the, the F sharp, G sharp, the A sharp, the B, or the A flat. You get the idea, right? So just going up chromatically. So you have F, 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 F. F. Then you have F sharp, F sharp, F sharp. So th you really have to think one step ahead of yourself. Okay, so when you're playing that F, your eyes have to go down to the F that you need to play here before you get there. So F, boom, here, F, 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 here. Okay, so you have to premeditate where you're going before you actually play the note. That's the thing about this exercise. So you're kind of thinking a step ahead. So that will force you to know where the F is, wherever you are on what string or where whatever note is. So now you want to go up again. You got G. Get it? So G. G, G, G. So I'm just using one, four, one, four with this too. I mean, it doesn't really matter which, well, yeah, it does really matter, but <laughs> it's just easier if you just use one, four, one, four, because you're doing such big stretches. And then you want to go up again, you got A flat. So you want to be able to identify all of the notes no matter how far up the fretboard you go. So just learning that, playing it back to back, you know, started with a metronome so you can play it like I played it in the beginning, just playing it quarter notes and I actually played it eighth notes after that. Um, practicing on E string. F, F sharp, G. And then you can start, I would start from there and do the first five frets, go all the way up to, to the A. So if I have to find A, I have the A here. I have an A here, I have an A here. Where's my other A? <laughs> That's my A here. So I have to end up on that note. It just forces me to be able to learn it and to find where that is. And at the same time, you're actually noticing the relationship between it because you're just going up at half step. So whatever you did beforehand, you can actually just kind of see. Now F sharp do. I was here, now I gotta go here. I was here, gotta go here. So just take that, you know, use that to your advantage as well. Just the most important thing is we call out the notes when you play in them too. So when you go to F, just say F. When you go to F sharp, you go to F sharp or G flat. If you go to G, you go to G. Just say it out loud so you know exactly what you're looking for. Okay, so say the note, play the exercise. If you wanna try double time, you wanna attempt that, that's fine too, you can do that. 
two, three, four. If you want to do a double time, you want to challenge yourself, that's the only way I was challenging myself to be able to do it. So, do, 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 do. Um, but you'll be able to move a little bit quicker. So the more you do it, the quicker you'll get, the quicker you'll be able to identify all of these notes. So if you know the G is here, you know that G is here. You don't even have to go through the motions of playing the other notes. Just learning your fretboard a little bit better, becoming better bassist and being able to call out any note on the fretboard. Uh, hopefully this will help you. I'm gonna add this to the beginner section uh, in the Bass Nation Academy. If you guys are interested, go check that out. Uh, it'll be there in the beginner's course, uh, in a new beginner's course that we will have. So um, this is actually a great exercise for anybody. Like I said in the beginning, also if you guys are interested in that beginner's course that I mentioned, it's gonna be in the Bass Nation Academy. I'll put the link down in the description or you can click on it somewhere on the screen. Uh, but it's not just beginner's courses, all tons of courses and lessons and tutorials for you guys, including live classes and one-on-ones and all that kind of good stuff, but I won't go into it. Go check it out if you're interested in that, you wanna enhance your bass playing to that next level. All right, make sure you know so come on out clean, clear and precise. Oh, if you haven't subscribed, click that red subscribe button, click the notification bell, click the all notification so you get notified every single time we upload a video here on this channel. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.